general. Yes, yeah, sure, Skip. Term management theory was uh, originally derived from the ideas of Ernest Becker, who in the 1970s uh, wrote a series of books in which he claimed that the uniquely human awareness of death has a great deal to do with just about everything uh, that human beings do day to day. And his argument very simply is that people are the only creatures that are smart enough to recognize that we're here and if you know that you're here, you also realize that you won't always be around. And on top of that, uh, we realize that we will die someday and that our deaths can occur at any time for reasons that we could never anticipate or control. And we also recognize that we're animals and that whether we like it or not, that we're no more significant or enduring than lizards or potatoes. And uh, according to Becker, all of these realizations uh, would give rise to potentially debilitating terror, but that human beings rather cleverly, although not necessarily consciously, solve this existential dilemma by the creation and maintenance of what anthropologists today call culture. And Becker's point was that human beings construct cultural worldviews, beliefs that we share with other people in our groups that essentially give us a sense that we are individuals of value in a world of meaning, and that when we have those beliefs, when we confidently subscribe uh, to a belief that we have meaning and value, that in turn gives us a sense that we can live forever, either literally in the context of different religions that provide the hope for an afterlife, or, or symbolically, just the idea that we may not be here forever, but uh, that tangible representations of our culture will remain nevertheless. One of the things that Becker points out in a very powerful book called Escape from Evil is that if these ideas are correct, if we really do subscribe to our views about the nature of reality that culture gives us uh, in order to minimize concerns about death, then we're naturally going to have problems when we run into people that are different than ourselves. Mm -hmm. Because if we accept the validity of an alternative conception of reality, well, that undermines the confidence with which we subscribe to our own, and that in turn opens us up to the overwhelming terror that our beliefs were designed to reduce. And so according to Becker and other theorists, what we do when we run into people that are different than ourselves is we tend to belittle them as an inferior form of not quite human life. Mm -hmm. We try to convince them to drop their beliefs and adopt ours instead. Mm -hmm. And if that doesn't work, we just literally kill them, as harsh as it sounds. And so, uh, according to Becker and terror management theory, uh, a good deal of the ongoing strife that we see in the world, not only today, but throughout history, it is the result of a psychological inability to tolerate those who do not subscribe to our own uh, death-denying ideology. And so uh, I think uh, underlying all of the problems that we see in the world today, uh, I think central to understanding those is just recognizing that uh, it's very tough when we run into folks that happen to be different than ourselves.